So hey guys, uh, yeah, I'm out and about today. Decided to take a bit of a stroll. I've been uh, stuck indoors now for like about two years. And I'm frankly sick and tired of it. So I thought I'd uh, get outside today and uh, take a walk around and get a bit of fresh air because, um, well, you know, Seems like a good idea. So, anyway, I uh, hope you're all doing well. I've been uh, keeping a very low profile lately. And uh, that's basically due to the fact that I haven't been feeling well at all. You know, I don't know uh, what to say about this, really. I've been um, a little reluctant to uh, really speak on the subject because it's such a uh, problematic thing to discuss nowadays. But uh, if I'm going to be completely honest with you, what I have to say is that uh, I had a very bad adverse reaction to the uh, jabs that I took last year and um, really the truth of the matter is is that ever since I was uh, subjected to the so-called I have been experiencing uh, a load of adverse health reactions, which have been uh, really, really bad. Uh, pardon me, I have to walk around a very large puddle. And, oh, great, now my feet are soaked. That's another thing to deal with, but never mind. Anyway, so uh, yeah, I uh, got the and then I got really sick. So. Let me tell you uh, what happened to me. I uh, went down, I took the jab, and then literally went to sleep. And the next day when I woke up, I could not hear. I completely lost my hearing. Well, let's put it this way. I lost probably 90% of my hearing. As you might imagine, I kind of freaked out. So I notified the uh, pharmacist that administered the And I told him, I said, hey, listen, uh, you know, you guys gave me and I took it and guess what? Now I can hear a damn thing. So they were like, well, uh, gee, uh, we, haven't really had any reports of that. And I'm like, well, listen, I'm reporting it. And I want you to know because I want you to make some sort of a note in your records that, uh, you know, I'm having this problem so that when and if other people experience this, uh, you know, they can have a record of it. So naturally they said, uh, they would do that, but, uh, you know, I mean, let's be honest, they were just, uh, oh God, had a completely huge lake here to cross. Uh, they were just completely blowing me off and I knew that's what was going on. So uh, anyway, they said, well, listen, uh, we recommend that you contact your doctor about this because you know, your doctor needs to know. So, okay. So I got a hold of my doctor. I said, listen, you know, got the jab. Now I can't hear. And the doctor's like, well, what do you want me to do about it? <laughs> you know? So, um, you know, again, completely blown off. They're like, well, we don't know that for certain 
this was the cause of your problem. And I said, well, you know, I mean, let's be honest. Uh, I have this administered. And then the next day I wake up and I can't hear. Now, prior to that, I could hear. So, stands to reason that unless there's just some really extreme coincidence going on, that, you know, the two things are related to one another. So, uh, of course, as you can imagine, they were like, well, you know, that's not how it works. And anyway, you know, there's really nothing I can do. And if you notice, you know, any further problems, uh, do get in touch, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, once again, uh, really no help there. So anyway, it took uh, a few weeks after that. Uh, before I started to notice um, that I could begin to hear again. But when my hearing started to return, the big problem was that uh, I had the worst case of tinnitus, or tinnitus, or however you prefer to pronounce it, um, that you can imagine. I mean, I have tinnitus so bad right now that I really can't hear much of anything. I mean, all I hear is a sound that sounds like a tea kettle going off in my head 24-7, and it's so bad that I basically can't sleep at night. And, you know, um, basically now uh, I've got to live with this, and it's terrible. Um, you know, I, I, I don't know what to tell you. So the upshot is, is that I'm just trying to find a way to cope with these new challenges that uh, I have in my life that I never had before. And, uh, you know, I'm not uh, pleased about whatsoever. But, you know, what can I do? Uh, as people like to say, it is what it is. I have to deal with it. So I'm trying to do my best to deal with it, but uh, it's not easy. So, I don't know really what to say beyond that. I could say a lot, maybe I will, but I do think that uh, my health has been severely damaged as a uh, direct cause of the so-called I really don't give a fly and toss what anyone else says about it. I know this to be the case and to be true. And uh, you may not think that it's true, but uh, I uh, certainly do. So, that's what's going on. Uh, in the meantime, I'm uh, trying to keep a positive attitude about all of this and um, trying to uh, stay positive. <laughs> so, right. So, uh, I think that's really all I have to say for now. And uh, I'll probably have a lot more to say in the future. I mean, the thing is, is that uh, I actually do have a lot more to say about it. But again, like I mentioned previously, this is the kind of thing that it's difficult to speak about because, um, you know, the minute you bring up the topic, everybody gets triggered and then they want to say that uh, you're crazy or... You're some, uh, you've got some sort of political agenda or what have you, but uh, the fact of the matter is, is that uh, that is not the case. I just want people to know that, uh, you know, 
I took some medication and uh, now I'm sick because of it. So all I can say is if you find yourself in a similar position, you better think carefully because uh, that stuff, it might impact you in ways that you can't even begin to imagine that it might. Okay? So that's all for now. I hope you guys have a marvelous day. I'm going to continue on my hike and uh, enjoy this beautiful day. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone, and I will hopefully speak to you again very, very soon. Take care and bye for now.